from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We'll see Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside m and Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the New York Giants. Two teams have met in Super Bowl 35 down in Tampa. The Ravens and Giants are underway. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. First time we get to see this Baltimore offense here. And feast your eyes on the Madden cover man, Lamar Jackson taking the field, ready to lead them at quarterback. And to me, he's one of the two most difficult guys in the league to game plan for in the NFL. And I add Patrick Mahomes in that category. But just about every team we talk to getting ready for Lamar Jackson says the exact same thing. We've got to slow him down running the football, yet no one's been able to really do it consistently. Now, the most impressive thing about his game to me, how he's developed as both a passer and a leader. His team believes in him. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Over the middle here to Brown. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 47. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? 
your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. On third down, Jackson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it, they love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson, and they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards there and a first down. Partner, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Boy, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the gun, Jackson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Jackson from the shotgun. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Giants go to work on offense for the first time, and it's Daniel Jones leading the way, the number six pick in the 2019 draft. A little bit of broken record time, partner, because we know that this young man, Daniel Jones, 
was a surprise pick at number six overall, but I thought that he got better and better as the year went on in his rookie year. A lot of trial by fire. Needs to protect the football better while in the pocket, but when he's at his best, he can throw it and run it, and he's an ascending quarterback. 24 touchdown passes as a rookie. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Now it's the Florida Atlantic alum. This is Alfred Morris trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Marcus Peters up to make the tackle. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing Jones. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 16 yards, a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. First carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Gallman. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. <laughs> They'll run on first down. It's Morris, and he's taken down inside the 30. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. First and 10. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35 yard line. Derek Wolf popping in for the sack. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, and the pressure gets to him again. Derek Wolf picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. 
From the gun, Jones. Buying time to his left. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. On fourth down, on is Graham Gano for the Giants' field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now Jackson on first down toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. But it'll be second down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. First down now, but the clock continues to move. From the gun, it's Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make this a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. Man open left side is Brown. And he just falls short down at the one yard line. Now the Ravens gonna use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown 
there to make the grab. And the Ravens have taken the lead. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. Throwing on first down, Jones. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, he'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. To throw again, Jones. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. And it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Jones. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two.
So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So we've reached halftime here. Let's throw in a broadcaster cliche, shall we? Both teams looking for a gift on Christmas Eve. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Now, Deion Lewis to return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now, here comes Daniel Jones in the Giants again. And yeah, maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Jones. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's gonna get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And this will be a Giants first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Jones steps away to his, and he's gonna lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. After the sack here, second and 11. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, open receiver. That's Caden Smith, the tight end. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. 
the goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A delayed give to Goldman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Ten more there and another first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Now Jones finds his tight end, Ingram. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Gorman, and he'll be taken down at the 34. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, Jones got a man, Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. First and 10 right at the 20. This is Gorman. And yeah, not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Operating from the gun, Jones forced out to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. From the gun, Jones. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown.
Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Taken about seven yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt a return. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. to the fourth quarter here on Christmas Eve. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. An option handoff here to Dobbins. A gain of three, second down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. On second and seven. Jackson throwing the out route incomplete. It's Andrews. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 46. Operating from the gun. Jackson. Out left side here to Bryant. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jackson going to run. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 34 yards. And the Ravens have broken the tie. Well, Lamar Jackson remembers seven rushing touchdowns in his MVP season of 2019, and he's into the end zone here as well. And when you hear that seven rushing touchdowns in 2019, doesn't it surprise you a little bit? Yeah, you almost expect more, right? Yeah, in your mind, you're thinking Lamar Jackson got in the end zone a bunch more. That might be what he does in 2020. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And New York set to take the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now Jones on first down. Open man right side is Ingram. Not much there, only a yard. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now a dump off here complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Jones now throwing on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of six there on first. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. On the draw, this is Goldman. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They run for it with Morris. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Add that one to the good run tally right there. He's been strong throughout this game, and there's no reason to suggest he's going to slow down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do. Keep churning out first downs. This ball complete. Jones to Ingram. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. If anyone ever has any doubt that tight ends are primary targets nowadays, just watch this play. He's back in the pocket, finds his guy, and they get a nice gain out of it. Yeah, simple little completion out into the flat. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll look to throw over the middle complete. That's Tate. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. 
First down now, but the clock continues to move. He's back to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. And Ingram hauls it in. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Gano now to add the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the touchdown and PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth. Take some I, gambles. I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Jackson. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Leonard Williams able to take him down. It's a loss of three.
and we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. On the option, Jackson will keep it. And now nothing but green ahead of him. 20. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. Tried to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters what you <laughs> wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we got the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.